Hi, my name's Philip McCorvel. I've been a pro for more years than I wish to remember, um, but I just thought it might be interesting to go back to being an amateur. So I'm going to try and photograph, or I will photograph, some glasses or a glass um, with only the equipment that I can find around my house. No professional equipment at all. Okay, so this is how we do it. So this is the gear we're going to need. One lamp, can be bedroom light, can be anything, as long as it's got some sort of directional light to it. Uh, two glasses, a standard 35mm camera, uh, a tripod, yeah, tripods are necessary, um, two pieces of card, and some way of holding them up. I use these uh, retort stands I get from the chemistry department uh, at a school. Um, other than that, uh, you can use a bottle, it's the same thing. Two glasses, one on top of the other, I'll show you why later. I put the lamp behind, directed onto the background. So finding the right angle for a glass is always a bit tricky. Normally from a catalogue point of view, it would be from a lot lower. The important thing is to use a lens that doesn't deform the ellipses. So as you can see now, I've brought the camera back um, and used a longer lens. This is about an 85mm. I'm a little worried about seeing into the top of the glass. I think normally it's accepted that this would be a straight line. So I'll drop the camera a little. Okay, now we're going to start lighting it. Um, this is the fun bit really. Um, where we can start looking at reflections. Now the black card will just give a little reflection down one edge. So that's the type of place it's going to be. I've normally put my head in front of the lens uh, to actually find the right place for this. Um, so I'll have to do that with the camera turned off in a second. So that's one card in place. Um, don't worry about the black card each side because that can be removed easily afterwards once we work a bit on the computer. It'll be very simple. Right, now the other one goes in exactly the same position really as near as we can get it to get both exactly the same. Now I said to you I'd explain why I put one glass on top of the other. One is because it looks like a reflection which always looks nice and the other is that I can get my reflectors or the black card all the way down so it will it, they work on the base. If I have to stop them here at that level then normally it won't reflect, it'll leave a white spot at the bottom. So it's always easier to put either a reflector or something to stop the light from low down. There we are. Now there's one other change we can make, or two other changes we can make. One of which is putting a piece of card just behind here like that. And you'll see what that does. Um, it'll just change, and now depending on the height of that card, just depending on what it does. So really that's a matter of playing with it. And now the next one I want to show you is a piece put in from the back, now over the top. Now it's very difficult for me to show you um, because I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, but if I have that exactly in the right place, it'll make the rim slightly darker. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to do that um, without looking at it by turning off the camera. So there we have it, that's really how we photograph glass. Uh, it just remains now to adjust the colour balance and that of course you'll find in your instruction book how to do that um, and take the picture. So here we are, this is the final shot out of the camera. Now no uh, glass shot is ever not retouched so here's the retouch. Well there you go, five minutes of retouching. Now I can hear you saying, yeah, well that's easy, that's a white. Now what about a black background? Well this really is as simple as putting a piece of black card behind the glass, um, bringing in white reflectors. Now those are in fact white cards that I put each side just to send the light back. Um, and what you can do as well is bring in a piece of black just to stop the white light from the background shining into the lens and that'll give you a little bit more contrast. Now this is the result of the uh, black glass shot um, and virtually no retouching on this one. Now I've zoomed out a bit just to show you the set. Um, you'll see I've used a rather large bottle of wine to hold up a reflector. 
So here are the two shots together. I think they look very good considering they're very cheap glasses. Fine glass would obviously make a better result. Um, I'd like to thank you for having watched this video and I hope that you'll come and watch others um, that we're doing bit by bit. Uh, they'll be on our website. Uh, so I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching.